Good morning, this is Mission Control Houston. Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's edition of ISS Update this Monday, September 17. You're now getting a live view inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room where the team here has been uh, monitoring the systems aboard the station and uh, supporting the day's activities of the now Expedition 33 crew members. Leading the Orbit 2 team here in the Station Flight Control Room today is Flight Director Ed Van Seis, and next to him serving as CAPCOM is Lucia McCullough, relaying our ground messages up to the crew. Three crew members of Expedition 32 undocked from the International Space Station and returned safely to Earth last night, wrapping up the mission of a little more than four months aboard the orbiting complex. Flight Engineer Joe Acaba, Commander Gennady Padaka, and Flight Engineer Sergei Revin undocked their Soyuz TMA-04M spacecraft from the uh, space station and landed north of Arkalik in Kazakhstan about four hours later at 9.53 p.m. Central Time. It was 8.53 a.m. in uh, Kazakhstan. The trio had arrived at the station back in May. They spent 125 days in space, 123 of which were aboard the orbiting laboratory. Akaba is now on his way back to Houston, and Padaka and Revan have returned to Star City. Meanwhile, now in command of the space station, NASA astronaut Sunny Williams and her crewmates, flight engineers Yuri Malenchenko and Aki Hoshide, kicked off their uh, first day of Expedition 33 and will work aboard the station as a three-member crew until the arrival of three new crew members in mid to late October. Malenchenko, Williams, and Hoshide arrived at the International Space Station after docking their Soyuz spacecraft to the uh, Rossviet module on July 16. Today, they complete 64 days in space. The space station with its crew aboard is flying at an altitude of about 255 statute miles. The orbiting facility is now on an east-southeastern track, just coming across southern parts of Canada, just north of the United States. The Expedition 33 crew had adjusted their sleep period to support the Soyuz undocking. They kicked off today with a little later than normal wake-up time at 6.30 a.m. Central Time after a shortened sleep period. The crew today will have a light-duty day and will go to sleep at their nominal sleep time. Today, Commander Sunny Williams is performing maintenance on the Advanced Resistive Exercise Device one of three exercise equipment devices on board the International Space Station that simulates weightlifting here on Earth. She also would deploy two environmental health system formaldehyde monitoring kits and relocate Soyuz emergency equipment. Hoshide opened the uh, lab window shutter for the International Space Station agricultural camera payload and is uh, working to remove and replace the waste and hygiene compartment the urine receptacle and insert filter. Each of the uh, three crew members will put in their daily two hours of exercise using the onboard gym equipment that includes the uh, station bicycle and treadmill and again that advanced resistive exercise device. The crew is then scheduled to go to bed at 4.30 p.m. Central Time. Meanwhile, back on Earth, space station flight controllers are uh, Tracking a piece of debris, flight control team is evaluating to determine if a uh, debris avoidance maneuver will be required. If a maneuver is needed, the uh, preliminary time for the burn would be shortly after 6 a.m. Central Time tomorrow morning. This is Mission Control Houston.